Yesterday we heard the story of Jesus cleansing the temple in Jerusalem. That was the gospel text for our Sunday worship. And this is an excerpt from that text. John chapter 2, beginning at verse 18. And this, of, this of course, is after Jesus has turned the tables upside down and driven the animals and the money changers out of the temple. Verse 18. The people then said to Jesus, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. They then said, This temple's been under construction for 46 years, and you say that you're going to raise it in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. It's funny, he kicks over the tables, you know, knocks out the coins out of the money changer's box, drives the people selling livestock off the temple mount. And they say, what sign are you going to show us for doing this? You know, prove to us that you have authority for doing this. And Jesus says, destroy this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up. They, of course, think he's talking about the physical place, but he's talking about his body. When Jesus comes to worship, when Jesus comes to the temple, what happens on the temple mount turns him into a temple. His praise and his prayer and his visits to that holy place transform him so that his body becomes a living temple. Like the things that are happening in that place begin to happen in him. That's our inheritance. That when we come to a holy place, when we come to a place of worship, the prayer and the music and the living word and the sacraments and the gathering of the people that happen in that place begin to happen in us and transform us so that we become temples of God's spirit. It's so beautiful. Our inheritance is that we become transformed into places where God dwells. Our, our bodies are temples of God's Holy Spirit so that when we walk around in the world, people can have interaction with God's Spirit living in and through us. That's what I hear in this text. It's like, do what he's saying to people, do your worst. Because if you destroy this temple, I'll raise it up in three days. And it's like he says, so, you know, if they destroy that temple you're living in, don't worry, I'll raise it in three days. They destroy this temple, he's going to raise it in three days. That's our inheritance. And that's, that's what happens to us and in us and with us as a believing body. We become transformed into that. That's great. It's glorious. <laughs> and maybe that's all there is. It's, it's worth, worth living for. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you that you equate your body to the temple itself and that you help us to see that we are equated to the temple too. That our worship and our praise are not just gifts that we give to you, but they're a pathway for you to do your work in us, to transform us and to live and dwell in us and through us. So... Hallow and concentrate, consecrate our temple here at Church of the Cross. But more importantly, hallow and consecrate the temples of our bodies. That as we go about our daily lives today and every day, we know ourselves as places where you dwell. That we know ourselves as people transformed and redeemed because you dwell here. Amen.